With the 4th of July this Saturday, what greater symbol of our nation's birthday than waving of the red, white, and blue? But there are many rules about the flag that you may not know about. Here to quiz us, or going to quiz me on some flag trivia, is Gary Biggs. He's a founding partner of the Protocol Partners. Uh, you guys do a lot of event planning here. Um, I'm curious, what is the, maybe the number one um, rule, law, that isn't known about the flag? The flag actually has a position of honor when it's in a, an event or outside uh, a home or an office. Mm -hmm. And that position of honor can sometimes inadvertently uh, be done incorrectly. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the items that people fall prey to sometimes. How so? How, how is it done incorrectly? Well, the position of honor is always to the right. If you think of when you're escorting someone, you would put them on your right. Mm -hmm. Uh, the same thing is true for the flags. When you're looking at a setup of flags, the position of honor would be to the far right or the viewer's left. Mm -hmm. And then you would work in descending order of precedence with whatever other flags you have in that lineup. So if I put a flag outside my door, I need to put it to the right of the door as I'm looking out, or as someone's looking at my house on the left of Correct. the door frame. Exactly. Really? And that's one of the questions that we were going to have in our well, we're, flashcard yeah, we'll, quiz we'll, for you. Well, definitely, well let's, <laughs> let's jump at it then. If you, let's get to the questions. Okay, please. Okay. Well, we just talked about where is a flag placed on stage. Okay, okay. And that's stage right okay. or audience viewing left. Okay. And okay. the same is true for the home. Uh, okay. Now, there are nuances in the world of protocol. We never say never and we never say always. Okay. okay. So there are nuances, okay. but the general rules of protocol apply. Okay. Uh, so as you're going out your door to the right. Okay. Uh, how many U.S. flags would you have or could you have at an indoor activity generally? Well, I would say one. And you're absolutely right. Really? One would be the general rule. You might rarely have two, but at outside events, you know, you, as for the 4th of July, I'm sure down on the mall, you'll see many people holding little flags. But inside, one is a general rule of hmm. thumb. Okay. Uh, if, if you fly a U.S. flag uh, out of your house, we already talked about that. Mm -hmm. Uh, if the U.S. flag touches the ground, do you need to destroy it? Has uh, it been? Well, I was a Cub Scout <laughs> years ago, so they, the, they, they, I learned yes. Is that true? That it does have to be destroyed? Only if it is damaged and no longer usable. Really? Okay. Yes. Okay. So if it touches the ground, you want to immediately correct the situation and get it off the ground, but you don't necessarily have to destroy it. Okay. Okay. That's good to know. I would have, I would have missed that one. In the same vein... Um, of if a flag is no longer usable, mm -hmm. it's torn, tattered, or stained, uh, what's the proper way to uh, dispose of it? You know, now, if I, if I'm this, now, my son's a Boy Scout, so I've got a little bit of this, but I believe you actually cut it in strips and then burn it? Right, a ceremonial burning mm -hmm. uh, is the appropriate way to do it. And you mentioned the Scouts. You know, a lot of people that have flags at their home or office, they don't know how to dispose of them. Mm -hmm. If you contact the Scouts or the VFW or the American Legion, they periodically plan ceremonial mm -hmm. burnings and we'll do that for you. Mm -hmm. Which is a really great service that they do and it's great for the Boy Scouts because they learn yes. the proper way. It's all part of their training as well. Exactly. Uh, it's neat. Okay. okay. And it ingrains that early respect for the, okay. for the nation's colors. Okay. Uh, what is the correct term uh, during times of mourning, half mast or half staff uh, for the flag. I'm going to guess half staff if it's on land and half mast at sea. I think you saw these questions as. No, <laughs> <laughs> I really didn't. So if I recur, you're, you're, you're nailing it. Okay. You've got some protocol in your <laughs> flag. <laughs> Political future, maybe somehow. There you go. So okay, very good. Well, I, I've got. I've, we've got to stop there. We have to wrap. I have one quick question. Please. I understand that it is illegal to wear the flag on a shirt or hat, is that actually considered against the law? Well, it's in the United States flag code to okay. not adorn the flag itself. Okay. So if you're wearing an identical replica, that's bad for Okay, them. okay, excellent. And is there, very quickly, is there a website people can learn more about this that you have? Uh, yes, the company website is theprotocolpartners.com, and we have a section on flag protocol. Okay, excellent. Gary Biggs, well, thanks for making me feel like I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> Appreciate it. Okay, and happy 4th of July to you. Thank Appreciate you also.